Act 4. What the fuck? Okay, this got much more different than I expected. Awaken. I thought this was going to be like some psychological shit, but it seems like we're a, a test subject? Nexus Experimental Employee Guidelines Always be mindful of the symptoms of contamination. These include, but are not limited to, minor hallucinations, loss of time, loss of space, confusion, nausea, respiratory issues, major hallucinations, and total organ failure. In case of contamination, take a glose of glenoxyl and immediately report to the medical wing. It only combats for symptoms, it does not reverse the contamination. In case of infection, Signed, Professor Doctor Doctor Lazar. That's a lot of doctors. Head scientist. So I guess we're we're contaminated, but we just took some medicine that will slightly help us. I really want to quickly see what happens if we don't take the medicine. If we just um, oh, you can see my steam there for some dumb reason. What window capture? Why aren't you capturing game? There you go. I'm I'm really curious. If you just go into the kitchen. Is this the bad end? That okay, that's credits roll. That would have been very sudden if I didn't do the um if I didn't do the proper thing you were supposed to do first. Why did you do this to me? Capture the correct window, please. So what the fuck is happening? We're infected? And we're not cured. When did that even happen? Sir, sir, are you right? Oh no, he's not responding. He's dead. He's had for organ failure symptom. Well, he's cured paralysis, right? For Agron, it's gotta be around here somewhere. But what do you mean? You you still think it's for Agron? You still trust everything that happened in the cave? The carrier specimen react positively to the newly introduced humid climate and lightless environment. That cave did seem pretty humid. It did not have much light, but it did have like growth, hence why I think humid. It seems to stimulate the spore dissemination, which is why we had to introduce certain safety requirements. <laughs> Maybe. Hello? Some worn out safety suit? This looks contaminated. No, no, there's more, there's gotta be more, there has to be another dose somewhere here, there's no way she just took all of it. So... The weather station is not a weather station, it's a, it's a secret science lab and the lady wanted to go up there so that she could steal the cure to help her grandpa who had been contaminated by it and I guess because she was going to be ruthless about it and steal it she needed to push us off so that we couldn't get him away what is going on yeah oh no not again go away you're not really here I'm real I'm real bitch so when did we get infected then? If it was after we were pushed down the cliff. Because it seems like that dude and the girl and the boy are real. That's annoying. Oh. What the hell? Oh 
What is happening? Is Shiny going to evolve at level 35? Like most of our other Pokemon, maybe? Flamigo is fighting type, right? We're about to get frogged. And watered? <laughs> okay. Giga is just pretty strong, eh? That will probably knock you out now. Maybe not. Actually, like, smart AI use of Roost there may be coincidental, but... So I don't think we have any, like, larger part in this. I think we just happen to stumble upon it. I guess we still don't know anything about where the contamination came from. I guess it, it seems like it's a plant thing, so maybe some, like, mushroom Pokemon. Not Paris, because, like, we're not zombies, but maybe Among Us. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Fuck Roost. Really? How much PP you got? We can do this all day, buddy. I don't want to do it all day, but we can. That'd be very funny if the evil mastermind Pokemon behind this is among us. You're still, you're still using Rooster. I thought that was like a 5 PP move. Okay, we got a critical hit. Thank god. Talonflame? This is a different Talonflame, right? Right? Not the one... Wait, no, you are Alistair! What the fuck? Wait, okay, things are not... Uh... What is on it? Is that like a mushroom? Your part bug type, maybe? Seed sower? Grass cover? Your, your part grass type? What the fuck? Okay. What? <laughs> Yo. So, oh, what is... This, this says Scientist Alistair, and he has a Talonflame, like the Alistair that we met with the Talonflame. However, the Alistair we met with the Talonflame isn't actually called Alistair, he's called Craig. So maybe he was impersonating this Alistair, but they both have Talonflame. But... I, I guess I really can't know anything until the game confirms something. I'm really just lost, yeah. Maybe, yeah? Shiny gets to evolve. I still think everything we saw until we were pushed off the cliff was probably real.
Hell, when we found Agron, we kind of... We, we kind of found an area that had, like, looked like remains of something. So maybe, um, when we went through that, it was, like, remains of, like, the science lab and, like, a epicenter where the contamination spread out, and that's when we started tripping. You're not supposed to be even- you're not supposed to be real! I'm very real, tell me where you are. No, you are not real! Hey, get back here! Where the f- Office floor key, okay. So all of these... All of these suits are damaged. They're too old. We've made efforts to develop a serum that could possibly allow a specimen to infect a host without harm in it. In theory, in theory, such a serum would allow both parties to coexist within the host body, however we're unsure about the implications. Why would you even develop something like this? Why, why do you even want to develop something that lets you live together with whatever fucking virus is going on. Where is the healing machine? Here? What the hell was down here? Back entrance. Is this where we wanted in? Right? It totally is! I remember walking through all this, and then things got weird. Yeah, this is where Agron was around, so I guess we we got infected when we walked through here. Like, I mean, look at how many flowers are on that wall. That's, that's probably what infected us. Heal it? I'm healing myself, I can't heal that old man, I can't heal whatever weird virus is in my head. Did I read this one? The specimen bonds with the host via brain, allowing it to interface directly with the host sensors. Hosts have exhibited signs of the specimen being able to access their thoughts and memories. There we go. Why, why are you researching this? Do you want some weird memory control? Do I want to go into the creepy contaminated basement? That worked. There's a graph detail and spore concentration in the bin. The spore concentration has increased. I kind of want to see what's in the basement. It seems like up is where we need to go. Oh, is this a... Okay, I can't use the... I can't go here yet. Can't go to the weed room. Yeah, weird mushrooms shit. So like, something like Paris, something like Among Us. Hey, you're definitely Cecilia. Technically, that wasn't me, so I don't understand hostility. Where are we? And how do I get out of here? You're in a secret lab with the next corporation. As for the way out, well, there's a back entrance, but that doesn't really lead anywhere with all the rock falls, so that just leaves this elevator. Alright, move aside. I'm sure you don't want that. I'm positive that I do. You've been hallucinating. I'd say at least on a 7 on a scale of 1 to 10. What do you mean? The medicine you took only suppresses the symptoms, but I took a whole suitcase of that serum. I can fully stop any side effects. How do you know, and how do you know I took the medicine? Well, you need to breathe to survive, and that's how it's transmitted. And you are not making an utter fool out of yourself, so by rule of elimination, honestly. How'd you stop it? I'm not seeing any oxygen mask. Come again? Or well, surely you wouldn't want yourself to get infected? Oh no, I'm infected. I need to prove the serum works after all. I was thinking that that's what the other guy's for. I thought about it, but I, I couldn't publish research on someone who hasn't probably consented, but that's not my concern anymore. He lost his nerve pretty much immediately upon being infected. So that is who I saw, right? That Alistair. And the Talonflame too. 
So that would leave an open spot in my clinical trial. If you're interested, I'll give you a shot of serum and in return I get an exclusive insight into your progression. What do you think? Certainly not. I'm going to take a shot of that serum and then I'm out of here. Why not? I got some to spare. Also, I can just make more. Just let me just... Alistair? Alistair, don't do it! Hey, get back in here! Damn, this elevator needs a keycard. Maybe there's one somewhere in this complex. I take it not this. Hello, Director's Key. Was that her pulling shenanigans on us? Trying to trick us while she got in the elevator? Or is she hallucinating? Hmm. And this has been here for a while? Because there's lots of journals. This is the first one. A large subterranean cave has been discovered by a group of miners in Yagros Mines. I was brought in as an expert on mycology due to the nature of a Pokemon pheasant. The nature of a Pokemon pheasant? So what Pokemon are we talking about? Their spores are unlike anything that I've ever seen before. If, if this actually is a parasite, because they're talking about it like taking over the host, then it totally is parasect, right? The corporate owner of the mines has expressed interest in funding my research into those spores, but it would need to be highly confidential. Really? That's how it all started? By a dumbass? <laughs> 50. Some workers were infected during a routine inspection of the cave and quarantined them with the test subjects. We are stabilizing them with nutrients in clinic seal, but that is only a temporary solution. We have to hasten our research into a permanent solution. Hmm. The specimen feeds on the nutrients it saps from the host. In case it cannot find any, it will reach out of the host body to find nutrients elsewhere possible. And I guess that's what we saw with, um, with Talonflame. Yeah, that's true, I guess. You're kind of reborn as a weird, fucked up parasite. Oh, so the... If we just died, then the... Am I reading that right? I want to reread that. So as long as it keeps on getting nutrients, it can continue continue to live, but if it doesn't have nutrients, then it dies fairly quickly. So... I guess the spores are still around, bro. I was gonna say, can't we just, like, have everyone die, and then it's over? Surely that would've happened by now? Here we go, the anatomy of Paris and Parasect. That's it, that's it. While the specimen does destroy the host's body over time, it keeps the brain in almost perfect condition. I guess that's why, um, the old man was saying, like, random shit. He didn't have Alzheimer's or anything. It's just that this, um, this parasect, parasite in particular, it, it causes old memories to resurface. I suspect herein lies a way for us to either prevent or fully reverse brain damage. I guess that's the kind of, like... That's the really optimistic scientific view of why they'd want to research this, because they think if they can control it, they can maintain the brain in a perfect condition where you never experience damage, all memories stay intact forever. But you have to control the parasite, you bloody idiot. Even the director's damages, even the director's Here we go! Doctor, Professor Doctor Doctor Hieronymus Lazar. That old man was the one behind all of this. That old man was, uh, was the man who made this lab. His dear daughter Lucia. Do we know a Lucia? I don't think so. Ah. So really, it seems like everyone who worked on the project is dead dead. What do you mean, no way? Haven't you played this game, Cade? Did you miss that detail? Laboratory? <laughs> I guess so. What's back here? Airlock. 
save. I don't know if I want to go into the laboratory or the airlock. <laughs> I guess that that's the explanation for why they brought the old man along, right? But, and why they don't seem to care about curing him, they care about stealing his research. Hey big girl, good to see you again. This is your mate, huh? Oh, you horny? No wonder you wanted to, me to see this. He's not looking too good. Gop, 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 gop. Oh, he's got the parasite. Ah. Oh, wow. That's cool. That's really cool. I, I happily did that. Yeah, yeah. I'm really liking how this is all coming together. I really love the stories that Never This Again makes. Holy shit, I'm dead. <laughs> um... So, I think you're draw steel type, I guess, right? Can I just flex on you? Is that not gonna work for me? No, it works kind of. I guess being a parasite, your speed seems to be in the upper echelons. You're no longer some slow, tanky agron, you've got speed to you. And you know, Spore, go fuck yourself. What a fucking piss annoying move, especially when um you're using Grassy Field or whatever. Yeah, keep on spamming Spore, like the nerd you are. Look, I, I heal off Grassy Field too, buddy. Can I wake up now? Here we go. See, so I uh, yeah, get the grassy field back up. At least I don't think you're gonna spore me, so you're dead now? No, it takes like one more turn. Oh, fuck you. Well, your speed is non-existent, so I think um, who, who do I want to get the XP? Maybe Frilly? I think Frilly could be really powerful if given proper levels. Oh, apparently we've got some priority move. Grassy Glide, eh? Well, you're dead. Agron! Agron! Agrosect! <laughs> right, I guess, okay. Parasect! Oh, is it? Agron! Wait! Hey, big girl, I don't think you can help him anymore. I think you should go out. You're infected now, right? I think big girl is... already half mushroom. There's no way you can hang around in this... dank-ass room and not be. I should have checked what was in the laboratory room. Oh! He's back up. Act 5. Rise again. Can I backtrack? What's in here? Lumberries. Can I read... Computers or something? No, but I guess there's lots of items for me. Lots of Lumberries. Well, what status does Lumberry heal? Is this a thing about like a very early... From any stats problem, I guess what they were using very early on to try to deal with um... The problem. Fire Punch? I mean, I have Ice Punch anyway. Which also works against grass type. Infected dudes. Lots of lumberries. I don't think there's any lore notes in here, right? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, back out we go. Oh, please do not soft lock. 
Okay. Just just having Act 5 rise again, rise again, again. Thank God. So well, this is um, a, whole, a whole lot of... Paris, huh? <laughs> Hello. You, um... There's a bit of a party going on. Oh, hello me. Oh yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna need to take some more medicine. The medication seems to be slowly wearing. You need to go after her. What are you? The one of us that's in your head. Call me Parasect if that helps. You're not just a disease, I have a full Parasect in my head? Yes. Why are you speaking to me like that now? Because you need to go after her, you can't let her get away. Who is she? The woman with a cure that will save you. If anything, it will save me from you, because right now you're the thing that's harming me. It's our nature, we can't help it. But the things she took can. It will stop me. Why are you telling me this now? You need to stop her. Someone needs to stop her, because she will come back. She'll bring others, or worse, she'll take us with her. It will be the end of so many years of peace. I've been looking for a way out of this whole time. Some help would be appreciated. Not everyone left within the facility was sealed. Some stayed, some had to stay. Some left, they left some things behind. You will find it. Suppose you just have to take your word for it. Please, you have to stop her. I understand why Parasect is being like, hey, please don't kick me out of your head. But we really should not be listening to the Parasect. <laughs> I, um... Yeah, it, it is a parasite. I think we need this guy out of us ASAP. I mean, I think it's almost maybe too late already. And maybe that's what the game's gonna come to a final conclusion in. In order to survive, we have to accept the Parasect or some shit. Otherwise we die without it because we're too far gone. I don't know. The elevator's coming down. I have some cheese and fries for that. Mint funnel cake sorbet. There he is. Slowpoke tails and claw sticks. Let me in the canteen. Do you have to battle him? Hmm. I just have to battle this Pokemon, but, um, I'm probably fucked, eh? I guess just spam Mortal Spin and hope for the best. Strength Sap's gonna make it hard on us, I think. Oh god, okay, yeah. Hex should be quite good here, right? <coughs> so so. Maybe I was just better off doing Frost Breath or whatever. I think we're gonna have to die. Thank you, JPA. Oh, yeah, you'll die easily. Oh. I guess we just try again when we get a full party. Oh, fuck, I should have used Venishock. Venishock would. Deal lots of damage. And we at least would have gotten some XP out of it. There we go. Yeah, I'll switch into Hypno. Well, we'll see how far into his team we can get. I think we will, um... Oh, he's only got three Pokemon. Maybe we can beat him. We might be cutting it close, we'll see. Ah, oh, damn it, why couldn't you low roll that? Hmm. I 
I kind of just want to get the Drew Loom out and then hope that Shiny can verse whatever his ace in the hole is. A Parasect, that makes sense. Let's switch out, let's go for Mortal Spin. Hopefully get the Poison. Oh no, but you're Poison type, so it doesn't fucking matter. Oh, you are the Parasect. And you've gotten one fuck ton of a stat boost. Yeah, Toxic Defeat is not gonna help me here. Oh. Let's, let's try. Let's try. I've got a revive. I've got some potions. Let's get Flex back in here. Okay, we're gonna speed it as we go on. Hopefully that's okay. Oh, holy shit, your stats must be so high. Right, uh, yeah, that'd be better than the Ice Punch I've got now, right? Ah, uh, I guess if this goes to the second attempt, which will be likely to <laughs> pivot. We'll see what Ice Punch can do here. Oh, never mind. You got a critical slash. Okay, let's uh let's change ice punch to fire punch or whatever. Let's try again. Oh, it's still so weedy here. Even though I think we're not in the weed area. Yeah, very close. Especially considering we went in with like a dead team. I'm pretty satisfied with that. I'm trying to remember, um, so it starts off with a mushroom. I think we just do what we did last time, but do more efficiently. Do shiny, mortal spin, then Venoshock should deal with the mushroom. After that, probably like anything's okay. It really is terrifying though. I feel I feel like they build up the like the scariness of this weird infection living inside our head very well. I really do love what Never This again does with like seemingly not that like powerful, not that terry terrifying Pokemon and like making them terrifying, like with Zoroark, like with, um, I'm trying to remember, I said it earlier. Um, I like with Spiritomb, like, I, they are scary Pokemon, and Parasect is also a bit scary, but I don't know, like, it, I feel like these sort of scenarios that he cooks up, it, it makes him seem, like, legendary, and it's really cool, I don't know. Like, you're not going to find another Pokemon fan game that the main villain is a fucking Parasect. But I think this is awesome for it. I don't know. And I'm guessing, I've still yet to play To The Lake, but I'm guessing To The Lake is a similar scenario. Where it's like a creepy ass, something's going on, and it's just like a watching a mystery unravel. I love it. I love it. I'm a big, a big fan. And again, like I was saying before, like, there's no, like, fluff to this game. It's, like, purely me. Like, the whole thing is about ramping up the experience. Getting you into the source. And I'm, I'm there to buy it. Slather me in it. Coat me. It's good. Are you talking about the Five Nights of Freddy 
game. I do want to play that. I do. Look, I, I went like an hour without saying anything suspect, okay? Let me talk about giving me a nice sauce massage. We know that, um... Really? I miss that? Fuck you. We know that our dude can tank a hit or two. So I think we just go into flex. And fire punch away. Oh, you've got a berry to help with fire types. But luckily, I think we've got a... We can tank a second hit, right? So this should be fine. See you later, Parasec. Thank you for the tip, JPA. I don't know, these kind of creepy games, I think they're awesome. I don't know. At least the way Never This Again does it. Burnt toast. Strawberry tiramisu. Pickled zucchini and lots of garlic. We see ya. Even at the end of everything, his final four wasn't food, but it was his daughter. In the elevator we go. Is it this one? No, maybe this one? Ah, oh, it's this one! We're gonna need Aglan up here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I definitely need it, JPA. I definitely need it. Oh, you're not supposed to be up here, but I guess you know your way around a rockfall. Any idea how to unblock the entrance? Did you just drop the elevator back down? What, me? The woman who had you pushed off a clickside? Shocker. But now we're both stuck here, so you might as well... Oh, that's the cable she was cutting. She was cutting the elevator cable. Wow. She really tried to kill us. You still need the serum. I'll give you a dose if you clear out the rocks. I don't have Agron on me, do I? How about this? You give me the whole suitcase and then I'll consider helping you out of here. Don't be silly. What would you even do with it? I'll take one for myself and get rid of the rest. Why? Just get rid of something that can make truckloads of money from. Modern medicine has evolved to the point where almost any part of the human body can be replaced or being made obsolete. The only thing that we still need to function as advertisers is the brain. Oh, bruh. The parasect in the cave are our first step towards finding a way of keeping the brain alive forever. Or maybe even revive it after it ceases to function, like what we saw with the old man there. Considering all the things I've seen down here, I don't think that's a very good idea. Come now, you sound just like my father. You're Lucia! Oh, you weren't lying about your father. He is your father. Of course, it's not going to be perfect right out of the box. It's still going to take years of more research. But that's going to be easy with a noble prize grant. Why'd you bring him here anyway? Your father, I mean. For the retina scans between here and down there, if I knew there was a back entrance row through the mines, I wouldn't have needed him. But hey, hindsight is twenty twenty. Just give me the suitcase, okay? If you insist, I can always re synthesize. I thought. For some reason, I thought Cecilia was just like some, um. some competing company or some shit. But no, she's trying to continue her father's legacy, where her father's legacy obviously went down in fucking shambles with this lab. If you insist, I can always re synthesize it from a trace amount that's already in my bloodstream, you know? I just gotta get my car keys out of there. I'm not giving you. Oh! And she's farting. Okay, this seems like it'll be a more varied battle in terms of what types we're going to face, eh? I don't have any proper rock moves to throw at you. So we're just going to finish off. Like, we're not just going to get a bunch of grass types here. Oh, Toxic Debris is actually also going to work decently on this fight, since... Yeah, sure, I can sleep, I don't mind. <laughs> Since, um, we're no longer fighting, like, poison types as well. Okay, so... We'll get sent out next. Slazzle. Okay, Toxic Debris is not gonna work perfectly. I believe we have Stomp and Tantrum, right? Which should be four times effective? I think Ground is good against Poison. Yeah, you don't... You don't like my toxic spikes. Stop trying to set up. You got Focus Sash? Yeah, you do. Wow. Well, Sandstorm's gonna kill you anyway. How funny. 
That's a type of perfect Pokemon. Do I want to learn Ingrain? I know, it's just completely obliterated. I'll try, I'll learn Ingrain, but I don't think I want to use it. It seems thematic for the game we're playing. Semiluge, uh, I guess just Rock Slide again. Is Auto release this game a screenshot? He looks nice. Auto, yeah, I mean, Auto, all of Otter's games that he's worked on or like started look completely beautiful. <laughs> we completely owned that battle, huh? You are much worse than your father. Ah, uh, where were we? All right, my car keys. You know what? I think I'm just going to take it. Uh, relax, please take it. Here, all the samples, all the data, finally. Inject yourself with the serum. So what about the parasect in me? What happens to that now? Does it just lay dormant, or does it get ejected? Or is it, like, now a dead carcass inside my body? I hope that for your sake that this works. I tested it out on myself and I haven't had any adverse reactions so far. So, have we calmed down? Can we talk like adults about how to get out of here? Agron! Thank you. Finally, someone sensible. Is it about to slap her? Thank you, kind Agron. Now, if I may... Oh! It pushed her down the empty elevator shaft. You're a murderer, Agron. That was extreme, big girl. But thank you, nonetheless. Agron, wait! You also inhaled the spores. Better be safe and sorry. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. You are definitely on track to become like your partner. Thank you for helping me out, big girl. I'll be seeing you around. Agron, Agron. Now, what am I going to do for the rest? Like, can I not, like, 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 I don't want to take this for money reasons, but, like, these spores still exist. Until we burn down the whole mountain, this infection is going to exist. So I think getting rid of the only cure is a bad idea. And I'm not saying this to like take it and then make a profit off this. I'm saying this as in like, so that the town that lives next door to this infection doesn't get completely fucked over and turned into mushrooms. I don't think the game's gonna take that path. I don't think they're gonna make me a good person for this decision. But I'm going to take it. There's no harm in this. Well, don't think about there not being harm. Think about the benefits of having a cure. Now, let's go home. Like, anyone can stumble into this station and fucking die. Or anything can, like, leave this station and fucking die. Like, that old man came back to life. What if he hopped out of the building? and infected the town. Then we need the cure, but I don't think that's the ending they're gonna give me. I think I'm about to be made into a bad person. Where is my daughter? Oh, I was starting to worry, but I guess it's gonna take a long time to guide an old guy across the mountain, huh? Hey, it's good to see you. Likewise, I put some lasagna in the fridge. If you wanna take a quick shower, warm it up in the meantime. Um, warm shower. What was that about the parasite loving humid environments? Like a warm shower? That'd be great. Oh, just so you know, Carly went out with a few friends. If she comes back after 11, I'll give her a piece of my mind. Oh, and don't put that shirt in the laundry. Throw it away. It looks like you fell off a cliff, sweetie. I did. And the end? No, yeah. No, I don't mind at all. I always enjoy you calling. Those are fantastic news. Like I said, I think we owe it to the world to make these advancements public. Henry, what did you do? Stop it. Yes, yeah, stop it. I know this mountain like the back of my hand. Head. What? Oh, not my hand. My head. Like the back of my head, like this parasect. 
Whatever you need to get up in there, I'll find you a way. Henry, I asked you to stop her, but this, this is worse. No, please, I need to thank you. You know how I don't have much of a clue of all that sciencey stuff. Don't ignore me. Talk to me, Henry. Talk to me. Of course, see you soon. Henry, why? Oh my god. What an idiot. Like, fucking get a cure. Don't fucking be a evil mastermind, cut off supply, and then taunt him the parasite in your head about it. Oh, well, all of that, I mean, I've, I've already praised this game to death, but very enjoyable game, and hell, we did get through it in a bit like two hours. I should have saved before the, um, before the other, before I chose an ending, so that I could see what the other ending looked like. Ah, oh, I wonder, which ending did you get, Cade? Did I watch your YouTube? Potentially. I'll let the credits roll out first, but yeah, I mean, I think I've said everything I've had to say, but I enjoyed that thoroughly. That was very nice. I This is like the perfect kind of jam game, in my opinion. Something that tells like a really interesting story like this. It's pretty unique. I thought the thing was flip so if I put the cure down the elevator. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Oh, I see. Okay. Kate, I think I think Cecilia is dead. <laughs> I'm sorry to break it to you, but I think she died in that elevator shaft and getting smashed by the Agron. I think we had a bit of a Pokemon Reborn moment. Like a Medicham throwing an Agron into a volcano. This Agron threw a lady into the elevator shaft and killed her. Fox, did it? maybe Ify, maybe Ify chose a good ending? <laughs> oh, maybe I can watch Ify's? Let's see, or maybe when we call with Andy for the podcast, he'll be the only person who got the good ending and he'll have to tell us what happened. Yeah, that's true, I guess. Look, I guess we don't know how deep that cliff was. Maybe it was only like two meters and they just didn't peek off the edge. I'll check, um... If you got the same... Oh, if you did both endings? Okay, well, Muslik, I just want to say, absolutely fantastic game. I hope you understand that. I, I really love your games. Let's see, did Ify do both endings? Yes. If he... I don't know, I think we're kind of bad boys. That did not feel like the good ending. Really well done. I mean, I think it obviously goes without saying, but very, very well done. If he also took it, I think. Yeah, exactly. Or did Ify replay the game to get both endings? Oh no, Ify did! No. Yeah, clap clap. Did we all get the same fucking ending? I'm, I'm looking at Evie's video on my phone and I can't find... Really? Really? I swear all the time. I mean, I don't, I can't even monetize YouTube videos, so it's fine. And Twitch doesn't care about me having a potty mouth. 
Really? Okay. What time is it? It's not 1am yet. Uh, yeah, I'm back here. I think... Uh, where, where's the TM? Let's try to speedrun this. Where, where are you, Fire Punch? Where, where are you? I, I want to see the other ending. I do. Here we go. We've got to refight Agron. Agron, um, Fire Punch will be four times effective on Agron. So that will be good. And I guess may as well teach it to Hypno too. I imagine Agron probably also has the, um... <laughs> yeah, just like Henry is after he monetizes the serum. And uses it to be like some weird... Like, I guess the idea of the serum is that like, if you have it, it like, stabilizes the parasite. And so like, it stays in your head, maintaining your brain as long as you give it nutrients. Um, and then, um, and then you get to live forever as long as you don't do something stupid, like fall off a cliff. But I was just thinking of taking the serum, not as like an immortal dosage, not as like a brain forever upkeep dosage, but as just a, hey, this shit's kind of dangerous and kills people. Or maybe it doesn't kill kill people but completely ruins their mental state god but no i'm the bad guy apparently that's kind of I really like what Henry kill himself, kill himself among us like imposter. What words are you saying? Jesse, what are you talking about? Just gotta do this quickly. What, it's this, and then Mushroom Man. Stop this! Ah. Oh. Okay, that's what happened. This mushroom man, and then daughter, and then we'll get to see the ending, hopefully. And as long as this doesn't make me stay up past one a.m., I don't mind. He did reply back to check the emails, we got past memories right there. What? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Just look in your emails if you want memories. I actually had something cute like that happen one time where like, um, God, that did not do shit. I'm dumb. Well, like, um, I was looking for like my old school emails and I found this like nice audio recording of what me and a friend did for a school project once. It's very nice to listen to that. So maybe you're right, maybe all the memories we need are in our old emails. Fuck this Agron! Let's just heal Flex and then try to uh, fire punch it some more. Maybe low kick is just better. We'll stab, I don't know. Maybe you're not Steel draws. I guess the low kick will bring down your speed at least. I feel like I did better against you on my first attempt.
Okay. Just don't use Spore, please. Cool, that's okay. Even Fire Punch? Slow Sweep? It seems to do similar amounts. Fuck you! No wonder they give me so many Lumberries. I didn't expect this Agron to give me so much trouble on a replay. There you go. Oh, that makes sense. Use special moves. Wow, imagine if I had half a brain. Maybe I need a little parasect in my brain keeping me actually above average IQ. Maybe that's what I need. Maybe that's what you are, JPA. Maybe you're my parasects. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. How come I can't fast forward the text that I want to fast forward? With the run button, but I fast forward the text accidentally otherwise. Pop 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 Well, you don't want to be my parasect? That doesn't sound like a nice lie. I'll treat you well. Maybe. Okay, let's talk to Mr. Henry question mark. Oh, I guess I can just turn text speed up. I should do that in the menu. Instead of mashing my keyboard like this. And then hope I don't accidentally mash through the whole ending that I'm working my way towards. <laughs> Who's the father and the son in the Parasect host relationship? I guess we're more like brothers than father and son, right? Maybe. Maybe that's too wholesome for parasites. Let's go back and heal so we don't have to die. I feel like... It's not going to be a clear good and bad ending. I feel like if we destroy the serum, we're going to like go through something where like the serum we used on our self actually wears off. And then the parasect ends up like taking control back over. I will be kind of surprised if it is just like a clear good ending in comparison. Oh, thanks. Yeah, see, you are, you are good for my destroyed grain. But did I not- holy shit, I didn't pick up the elevator key. I just talked to my parasectum and said bye bye. <sighs> so now I watch this again. Rising again for the fourth time. Is Henry question mark gonna be here again? No, he's gone. Okay. I'm really fucking incapable of getting through this ending quickly. Are we actually gonna push 1am? Potentially, depending on how smoothly these fights go. Find me, find me, Parasect Man. Okay, I know how to do this. We go for the Mortal Spin, and we do the Venishaw. Set me off all you like, buddy. Ooh. 
Let's just keep Shiny in here, honestly. We can just do the same thing to the loom. So many little effects happening in one turn. Yeah, I guess we die there, unfortunately. I think Hypno will still work well. Oh, I could have... Nah. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. I think, yeah, just flex. Two fire punches. And you're even poisoned. Oh, fuck off with your spore bullshit. Oh my god. Who invented that move? Nah, this is fucked up, just spamming Spore like that. And now I don't know if... An Aqua Buried Fire Punch. I mean, you're too fast anyway. I'm not even going to get to do it. Fuck you, man. We're going to die to Toxic anyway. Guess I might as well get XP for Rumble, probably. Because Rumble's pretty strong. You're going to die to Sandstorm Poison anyway. I don't care. Okay, then heal my team, go in, fight lady. Should hopefully be okay. He is unresponsive. I was wondering if there's like a little bit extra text boom. Use my revives. Use me potions. Let's just use my rare candy as well. Make Flex super powerful. And despite that, let's lead with Rumble because we are going into Flareon. Save. Okay. Let's get to watch Cecilia die again. Unfortunately for her. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, keep yapping. Let's try to didn't just swap out Flareon. Because that's like a bad matchup for you if you're using Fire Fang. I mean, your whole team is weak to Rock Dry. She is kind of noob, isn't she? Oh, focus, Sash Fiend. <laughs> well, that's not her being noob, that's just me being very lucky with the Pokemon I use. See you later. Easy sweep. Okay, now let's read the dialogue that happens carefully after I, um... When do I choose? 
Do I get to enter the menu before I choose? I would like to turn text speed down if I can. I can, okay. Save. Options, text speed back to mid. The elevator has fallen down towards the research station. It is unusable. I just found that there is a bit of um, flavor text around. The bin is empty. I need to do something about the suitcase. Okay. Throw it down the elevator. Let's see what happens. Let's get rid of this. Have fun with it, Cecilia. Now let's go home. Maybe Cecilia does live. I doubt it. I heavily doubt it. I feel like we're gonna die on our walk home. It's not gonna be that easy, is it? I don't know. Can I visit other people before I go home? I don't think so, right? It's time to go home. No one hiding in the town somewhere, no secrets. Oh, this is cute! A little cute update about the Wurmple loving kid and his mom. That's really cute. See, it was worth exploring this town. We got a little update to their story. I'm happy I saw that. Is this all the same? I think this part's the same, right? Everything appears okay. We're not gonna have some surface, some infection resurface, and we're gonna have need of the samples again. No, we're just happy. Oh, before I forget, Dad's going to have another tour tomorrow, so it's just going to be us for lunch. I thought we could fire up the drill. I'm going to go shopping with Chloe and Max tomorrow, so I'm not here for lunch. What? And when did you want to tell me that? I don't know, tomorrow? I already started throwing some meat. Ah, uh, whatever. I can't cancel. I already bought a train ticket. A train ticket? How long are you going to be gone? We're not sure yet. Are you going to be back for dinner then? I don't know. Probably not. Oh, here's the fucker. Typical. Remember what Annette said earlier? Maybe they can do something together. Annette told me that Bardo's on a business trip tomorrow. Maybe you can invite her and Timmy over for lunch. And fire up the grill with them. That sounds like a splendid idea. I'll give her a call later. See, not a big deal. Am I excused? At least someone's here helping me out. You've been so thoughtful lately, honey. Are you sure you're alright? I don't know. Maybe I got some extra headspace. Or maybe just a helpful friend in my brain. Haha, uh -huh, yeah, the ladder probably. You probably get that checked out. Also, am I excused? I don't think I'll need to. Also, sure, you can leave. I think I'll help mum with the dishes. So I guess happy ending, kind of? I don't trust that parasite. I don't know about you, but I ain't, I ain't trusting him. And imagine if we're like getting it on with our wife, and then like parasect is just standing by the bed like Oh, actually, you're two centimeters away from the G-spot, so you should go a bit lower. Like, I don't- I don't want that. I don't- mmm. Hey, Voltion, how you doing? I- I don't think that's a good ending either. Honestly, maybe just making money off this fucker who I don't trust who's watching me fuck my wife. Maybe that's the way to go. Let's abuse the fuck out of him. I don't trust him one bit. But yeah, I guess that's the end of the game. I guess we'll end stream there because it is two minutes away from midnight. If I end this quickly, I can call it a yay. We got our first game done for the game jam. I plan on playing a couple more. We'll see what lines up in the fate of reality. But um, that was very fun. And uh, what, what a way to kick it off, honestly. Honestly. <laughs> Look, I'm just, I'm just saying it how it is, right? I don't- if that's like the most awkward situation I feel like this to have an extra friend just living in your head. I'm thinking of the edge cases, you know? Or not even that much of an edge case. Yes, it depends on how often you do it, but... 
it, it is a very good game. It's again, I think this is like exactly what a jam game should be. It is one minute away from midnight, so you know what that means. Good night. I want to go to bed. There will be more game jam games in the future. I don't know what I'll play next. Probably depends on what we're going to talk about on the podcast. But I'll see you later. Bye bye. Genuinely such a fun stream. Thank you everyone for coming along. Thank you Rikrik. Thank you JPA. Thank you Karfik. Thank you Cade. Thank you Meg Ninja. Thank you Voltzion for coming along at the end. See you later. Bye bye.